Hey, it's Chuck Karstensen, Karstensen Team Remax Results, and we are on Credit Genius video number 11. And on this one, we learn about how paying off collections and charge offs affects your credit. In general, the older they are, the less they hurt. But if you pay them off, what's that do to your credit? Take a look and listen to this video to find out Hello, more. Hello, and welcome back to the Credit Genius U Credit Education Series. In this week's episode, we are talking about collections and why paying them can sometimes hurt your credit score. Before we get started, let's be clear about one thing. At no point should this video be taken as legal advice of any kind in regards to paying off any past due debts. This video is purely for educational purposes and you should consult legal counsel before making any legal decisions. Furthermore, we always recommend paying all of your bills on time. Have you ever paid off a collection or charge off account only to have your credit score go down? Well, if so, don't worry. This is actually quite common. You see, collections and charge offs cause the most damage to your credit as soon as they are reported to your credit reports. Once that happens, a timer starts, which counts down to the day the account will eventually come off your report, in accordance with federal reporting laws. The older the collection or charge-off is, from the original day of default, the less damaging it becomes to your credit score. To be clear, a collection account that is five years old is far less damaging than a collection account that is five months old, regardless of the dollar amount. So how can paying off one of these derogatory accounts actually damage your credit score? Well, the issue lies with the reporting of the payoff by the company or person reporting the data, also known as the data furnisher. Even though the law states otherwise, these updates to your credit report can often update the data in such a way that your credit score believes that the collection or charge off is much newer than it is. And unfortunately, your score ends up dropping as a result. This is a real bummer since this is likely the opposite effect you were hoping for. So what can you do about it? Well, we recommend getting something from the data furnisher in writing prior to paying off the account. This written letter should state the original date of default for the account. You will want to keep this for your records. And if after you make payment, you see a drop in your credit score, you can always contact the data furnisher or credit bureaus to make sure they are reporting the correct date of default. Since you have proof of when that date was, you can ask them to correct it if need be and ensure that your credit score does not sustain damage when all you are trying to do is the right thing. Taking this small step up front can go a long way in reducing any aggravation due to misreporting. That's all for this week's episode. We will see you next week for another episode of the Credit Genius U Credit Education Series. Until then, thanks for watching and remember that with a little bit of work and our help, you too can be a credit genius.